Greetings metal community, it's uh, Roger back with another uh, video. Uh, this is the, my fifth video of the 2020 releases that I'm, I'm uh, recording. This will be the last like uh, with only 2020 releases. Uh, I still have more stuff coming in that was released in 2020 but uh, I've ordered them together with stuff that had been uh, delayed and yeah because of Covid you you can't always be sure to get them when you want them. So, um, so uh, in the background we are listening to Expus with the album uh, In Umbra Mortis Sedent. This is an Italian uh, death band or occult death metal. They have a very unique style. I like it, very cool. Uh, it's on transcending obscurity, as you can see on the digi pack. Uh, I don't know uh, if I can compare them to anyone because it's uh, they have their own style. Uh, you could say, you know, in the way no more to a drape, but I don't know. Um, I feel also that they they kind of have the same way of playing as Mystifier, only this is death metal and Mystifier is more black metal. Uh, but yeah, a really cool album. I'll play this a lot and uh, check it out if you haven't heard Experts. Second one is a, I do believe it's an American band, Shards, Shards of Humanity with Cold Logic. Uh, this is a great uh, great uh, band that I did discovered actually this year I threw it was uh, what the channel is called uh, total metal rejection uh, this is technical thrash metal with death elements uh, really really good stuff so if you like technical thrash and but don't mind the death music in it uh, do check this out. Uh, I mean, uh, this is great, great album. Then we are going to this one. I don't think I have to say so much about them. It's uh, Funeralopolis with the album In Deceit and Other Madness. Uh, great death metal, pretty variated in tempo. I have a little bit of a dirty sound, but uh, yeah, it's a great, great death metal album. So if you haven't heard this, uh, do check it out. I've seen a lot of people mention them in their videos, so hopefully you know about it. But I will try to spread the good word. Then we're going to Poland, and um, I've talked about this band before in my collection update, Dira Mortis with the album Ancient Breath of Forgotten is Anthropy. Great, uh, juicy, uh, heavy death metal, uh, great vocals. Uh, it's kind of a easy listening, but uh, it's so damn good. Kind of catchy, but uh, yeah. Not a, not a very speedy album, but uh, just heavy, good death metal. And I really enjoy this band. And uh, if uh, any of you remember and misses Sonadam, you should check out uh, Skeleton Venom, Venomous Skeleton. And this is uh, this is basically Sonadam. It's three of the members. Yeah, I don't know. If this is the right way. Some scribblings there. Uh, as I said, uh, Venomous Skeleton is, is Sonodam. It sounds like Sonodam, and which was a great death metal band. Don't know why they changed the um, the name. I don't know if it have to do with the lyrical uh, theme or anything, but um, yeah. I know a lot of people have wanted some uh, more Sonodam, so um, now you got it with Venomous Venomous Skeleton and the album I think it's uh, self-titled it's very hard to read what's 
standing there so and then we are going to France I do believe with the Scapos and the album Potiscape or the Potiscaf they are French so I don't know I don't know what the title means um, a little bit thank you note from the band order it on the band camp directly from the band yeah it's an easy you know pick it back uh, musically I get kind of a yeah, would say Belfagor with uh, some uh, Inquisition guitar sound in a way uh, it's a very cool uh, album and, uh, and does not sound like many French band that I have heard so uh, very cool and, and unique from, from the French scene at least and um, yeah if you like Belfagor um, check them out because I, I really like this one solid solid stuff then we're going on to somebody we don't need to say so much about void ceremony I don't know if US or Canada or something not quite sure technical death, death metal with, with a little bit dirty sound not like uh, clean polish that you normally get with uh, technical death metal a great great uh, album then we're going to UK with live burial uh, great uh, slightly doomy death metal with this glary you know transcending obscurity normal packaging kind of a yeah difficult to see but uh, you know you see them from far far away uh, great great album uh, as well uh, transcending obscurity do release a lot of good stuff but the ba they have added so much band now that the quality of the releases have, have dropped a little bit for me but um, this one is uh, one of the best last year from them then we have Wake this band is from Canada I'm pretty sure and I don't need to say so much about this band because it's been talked quite a lot about it it has this more than, um, you know, kind of black and death-ish theme, but it's death metal, but, but they have like this, uh, yeah, atmosphere in them. Uh, I would say this is an uneven record for me. I like the two first songs and then it drops a little bit and then, but the seven, uh, song number seven is a masterpiece of a song and uh, definitely my, my favorite on this uh, but I've seen this uh, high on lists for last year and I do understand it but uh, for me it was kind of lacking something in the middle but the beginning is good and the end is good of this record it's just yeah a couple of songs in the middle there and it was kind of yeah boring in a way or not interesting enough then we are going to Greece to a band that does not sound like a Greek band, Scots. This is uh, death thrash metal, uh, I would say first uh, Pestilence, in a way, not like a copy of it, but, but it's in the way of that thrashy death metal, the vocals are a little bit fandroon. So, um, if you like uh, early or the first Pestilence, check it out. It's a very good album. Then we are going to Sweden and the continuation of Morbus Kroon. Uh, this is Sveven. You know, the last album of Morbus Kroon was called Sveven, and uh, the main guy, I guess, uh, took the name and made uh, made it a new. Uh, album with a new lineup so it's uh, the skeleton uh, eternal the eternal resonance so if you like Sveven with Morbus Kron you will like this it's a great great album uh, from Vaughn Records um, yeah 
I didn't buy it on vinyl because it's double vinyl and I'm a li little bit allergic to double vinyl. I'm lazy so I don't want to flip the, flip the vinyl too many times to listen to it. And then we are also ending in Sweden with the CDs, with the Scum. It's kind of a... Uh, yeah, I would say it's some Anala Truck uh, influences here. Uh, the grindcore, death grindcore stuff going on. Um, it's not every day I like to listen to this, but if I want something a little bit wild, uh, you know, as I say, I, I do hear some Anala Truck here, and if you like that, check it out. It's a pretty good album, but uh, depends on my mood. Then we are going over to the vinyls. This is um, an Australian band, Order of Orias. A great, great uh, black metal band. It has kind of a modern sound, but uh, I do get some, you know, Norwegian black metal feeling from this. Uh, and yeah, it's a great, great uh, black metal release. Uh, Probably top five black metal releases last year for me, and I should have shown it earlier, but uh, I have forgotten this over and over again, and um, I kick myself every time because it's so great. And we are staying in Australia with Temple Nightside, with the Pillars of Damnation. Everybody knows this one, so. Not my favorite, uh, Temple Nightside, still good, but a little too murky uh, sound on this, or, or wound sound, so you don't get a, the power of... Uh, I still lo love the uh, Hecatune record, uh, still think that's their best, but uh, still a solid album, but uh, it didn't um, kind of disappoint me in the way that they didn't go more back to that sound so uh, you, you lose a little bit of the energy I feel then we are having a couple of Finnish records Pertinence Buried Incarnation don't need to say much about this band they released an album in 92 and resurfaced five six years ago or something it's solid uh, Finish death metal. Nothing much to say. Very cool cover. Uh, black vinyl and has a you know the normal uh, text and pictures inside. Uh, as I said, it's it's not an album that you know have to have a feel. But uh, you know I have all the other stuff of, of pertinence, so I I went hand and bought it and uh, it's it's good. I don't mind playing it a couple of times more, so... Then we have another band that everybody knows, it's Salotis. Realm of Ash and Blood. Uh, more doomier death metal. Uh, have some great melody lines. Uh, a solid, solid release, as all the Salotis records are. Uh, you know, if you like, if you like the more doomy or death metal, uh, check it out. Uh, but I'm sure most of people have heard it because it's on on a lot of channels. But a great, great album. Then we are continuing in more of a doomy death with the December Noir, and the title is the Renaissance of. So yeah, this is uh, doomy, death metal, melodic, uh, very good vocals. Yeah, so if you like that style, you, you know what you're getting with this band, you know, this is not their first album, and they are all in the same way, and they don't change so much, but uh, a great, great uh, melodic doom death metal band. Then we are going to Poland with the Rites of Death, 
with Doom Spirit Emanation. You should think with this logo that this was, you know, old school Swedish death metal, but it's not. It's a doomy death metal, kind of a little bit murky sound. A great, great release. I really dig this album. Uh, was one of those who kind of went a little bit under the radar for me. Uh, so I got it. Late. I don't know uh, when it came out, but I, I got it late last year, but uh, yeah, very cool, uh, slightly dirty, doomy death metal, and um, yeah, a solid one. Then we are going to Netherlands and Soulburn, Noah's Ark, Century Media. Uh, this is more of a black and death metal. Uh, I still like. You know this band started in the ashes of Aztecs back in '96. Uh, they uh, released a album called "Feeding of Angels" or something that sounded very Aztec, uh, very much like uh, Aztecs, and uh, that is still my Soulburn um, favorite of my Soulburn collection. But. Uh, this is solid stuff. Uh, the main difference is the vocals are more black than the first the first album. So the music wise it's kind of having the kind of a aesthetics feeling but I play it in a more a black metal style. But uh, it's a solid band and uh, but uh, check out the first one if you are more into the aesthetics, the death metal. That's a killer, killer album. Then we are going to France, and therefore I reckon this is Glaciation with uh, Ultime Eclat. I try to uh, pronounce it like a Frenchman would probably butcher it. Uh, I don't care. Great uh, black metal from uh, France. Uh, you know, the French scene has its own um, kind of moody uh, black metal. So it's it's in the vein of, of the, most of the bands. You know, if you're uh, not thinking about pest noir and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, mid tempo. There are fast songs there as well, but it's, it's kind of this uh, more of a yeah atmospheric stuff. Uh, great, great album. And we are going to a. This is an international band. I know this a member, Sinistral King, Serpent Uncoiling. Uh, I know there's a member of uh, Bredehammer from Norway in this band, but the rest of the people in this band, I don't know. This is also a uh, death and black uh, album. I do get uh, some septic flesh uh, in, in some parts here. Uh, the more they have some yeah, orchestrating style in here. But uh, yeah, so it's a great album, great vocal. It's also, uh, you know, both black and, and death vocals here, and the death vocals are more towards the septic flesh, and, and therefore it kind of reminds me a little bit of septic flesh, but in, you know, more black metal. Uh, great, great album. Uh, kind of an album that I, I have forgotten about when I was checking my 2020 list. It kind of popped out, and I said, yeah, I remember it was good, but. Um, it's uh, very good. So do check it out. Then we have, uh, yeah, we have three more. Two uh, Swedish old school sounding the Puterian with the the Catulian pulse call from the dead city. Great, great cover. A uh, great album. It does not, uh, you know. It's Swedish old school, but they don't have that uh, HM2 uh, bustle sound on it. 
which I think is great. Um, uh, surprisingly well, this album, uh, the previous album was kind of disappointing for me, but uh, this is like a return to form, uh, much more towards the uh, album from 2011 that I can't remember the name of. But uh, yeah, great, great uh, Swedish death metal. And then we have another Swedish death metal. This was a band that was active, uh, released some stuff early in the 90s, Toxemia. Uh, where parts divide. Uh, this is not so much Swedish sounding in a way. I feel it's slightly more towards the Finnish side of it in a way. Very cool cover. Black vinyl of course and nothing much uh, interesting to see. Uh, yeah, it's not as good as Petraean, uh, but it was surprisingly well. And, uh, therefore I bought it. Uh, I didn't expect it to be as good as it is, but it, it's kind of kind of a, a more riff based uh, death metal than um, a lot of the other Swedish death metal bands. But uh, yeah, a solid one. Then we are going to France again with Skeletal, everybody knows this one. Unveiling the Threshold, great. You have to say old school Swedish death metal, uh, but uh, yeah, it's a very very good release. And uh, if you're into death metal, you should check it out. I'm not going to say anything more about it because yeah, it's a poster to run lyrics. As I said, if you're into death metal, and I'm sure everybody has checked it out because this is also a release that I've been mentioning on many channels. A great great stuff. And we are ending this all with a Norwegian black and trash toxic death sepulchral demons. It's a uh, 32 minute long uh, album, which is okay when it, this music um, because it's quite intense. Uh, I think they have a, a, have a great uh, you know develop in. In the music since the debut, uh, a lot of trash here, uh, not so much black. I do feel, but uh, yeah, it's just if you like that black and trash style, you should check this out because this is a pretty, pretty good uh, release. High roller records, do this, uh, you know, cool stuff with all the releases. Lyric sheets and yeah, some picture and yeah. As I said, if you, if you like black and trash, this is a it's a good one. I'm not a, the biggest fan of this genre because uh, I feel that they can be so a bit tiresome to listen to. But um, this one is uh, it's one that I'll spun a lot. So that was all for the 2020 releases this time. There will be more when I get the packages in the mail, um, but uh, all for this and um, be sure.